I want to talk about Madone because she has just been an absolute star out here in Southern California. How is she coming into Breeders' Cup? Yeah, she's coming into the race um, as would like her. Um, like you said, she's done nothing wrong. Um, but, um, you know, this is definitely going to be facing some stronger competition. Uh, but she settled in really well here in Kentucky and is going to do her final breeze tomorrow. Were you as impressed as at least I was by every race, just seeing not only her overcome, but the progression that she's shown? Yeah, I mean, you know, we thought she'd run really well the first time out. We thought maybe she'd be a little green and wouldn't quite win, uh, but she'd always shown us lots of talent. So it was nice to see her do that on debut and then pretty much go from race to race. Um, you know, she overcame quite a lot in the second stake at Del Mar. And then last time, you know, she proved that she could, uh, you know, dig in and, um, you know, um, get the job done. So, um, you know, she's definitely coming into this race, um, you know, pretty seasoned for a, um, you know, for a two-year-old filly. Was it always the plan all along to go turf with her? You know, that stallion is pretty much just grass. Um, and although she, she worked pretty nicely on the main track, you know, when we really asked her to, to finish, she just sort of span her wheels a little bit. So it was pretty mm -hmm. obvious, I think, um, in the sense to, um, you know, to, to go with the turf with her. Um, and, um, you know, I think she'll be a filly that will, um, you know, hopefully continue to progress as a three-year-old. What kind of uh, three-year-old aspirations do you have? Are you thinking beyond the Breeders' Cup? I feel like you're pretty conservative where you think one race at a time. Yeah, I mean, this was, you know, the, you know, the obvious target as a two-year-old, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, after this race, likely we'll, we'll give her a little bit of time and, um, you know, bring her back, um, you know, in March, April, because um, that's when the, you know, the more important turf racing sort of gets started. But um, so, yeah, at this point, we'll just um, see how the Breeders' Cup goes and then we'll, we'll make a plan from there.